Here we are, our nice late night COD spot. Bethany College gonna be the opponents coming in for the CCL, starting with a little bit of variance on this map as well. It's gonna be Zaqua, Zarqua Hydroelectric here, a map that's actually only playable on Hardpoint, which is a pretty oh interesting one. It's one of those ones that does not come over to these different modes. That, yeah, that, the water is also a thing that exists in this map. Priestley, good for one on the top. Bendy, back in for this one as well, because this is a CCL oh, yes. matchup. True. Gotta remember that one. But so far, Bethany College has been, uh, they found some picks to say the least, but Priestley finds three, Bendy finds two, and the first hard point is going to be controlled by the Saints for a little bit, but Bethany College starting to fight back. Yeah, Bethany putting up a decent fight toward the back half of this hard point. They're going to have this second rotation as well. And this map, you can see, pretty large in size. So these hard points can be a lot trickier to go capture than some of these other maps, especially considering you have the water, you have all these underground avenues. You have so many ways to attack these different sites. Priestley trying to get stocked up, waiting for that team to come through so they can actually send this push through. He's going to spot one out. They find that first kill. Slicks is going to find one, though. He has been so good on that trigger. Seven and two, make it eight. He has taken on all these Saints. Priestley, he's going to find that answer, but... Bethany College doing such a good job. This hard point is on lock and key right now. Slicks, definitely slick with it to say the least. Eight and three, racking up those kills and racking up the points for the team as well. They don't even got anything like trophy systems set up necessarily. They're just winning their gunfights and doesn't get much cleaner than that. A couple kills traded back for the Saints, but this hard point still going all the way to Bethany College. Saints looking to set up towards that next one. You already see Blaz there. You see Relaz kind of creeping around that back spawn as well. There's Priestley to fall down mid as now the rotate. Got to come through towards this next hard point. Saints grab it off the bat like we said, but LOS looking to find Bendy behind those barrels. There might be a second player to come. Slicks is the one to finish off that kill with the Semtex. Yeah, Saints do have control of the hard point for the time being. There's a grenade. Down goes Blast. Bethany College, though, they are slowly making their advance toward this hard point. They're going to find that first pick. I'm guessing the W key is coming next. They're going to try to walk on this hard point. Still in that neutral zone. But, oh, the jump up the side of the side of the map. They're Priestley going to turn and find two. Looking to maybe cook up a third there on that second story. He's going to send some pop shots there. Trying to help out with Blast. Blast is going to swing. He falls to sent, uh, sent them though rather trophy system still gonna be down Saints do have the hard point Priestley doing his best as a one-man show to keep it alive here how many times have we said this you get yeah. Priestley in his element you get Priestley locked in and you get Priestley dropping 11 on the map right now make it 12 finally gonna be traded out by sent them there a little bit of garbage time to be grabbed by Bethany College, but it's going to keep them in the lead for a little bit. However, going from 20 to 51 is a solid hard point for the Saints. You definitely take those considering you've got this setup towards this next one. Now, this is a really interesting one. We were actually just talking about this specific hard point here in the broadcast room, but there's so many ways to get into that little broken down building. The one you see Blaz fall into Demos, and now four players looking to absolutely flood out of here. However, they only find one to be found as Priestley holding down this hard point, keeping the dream alive. Slicks, though, so, so strong with that AR in hand, but he is going to be traded out. Now, Saints looking to even up this lead here. Blast going absolutely crazy around the map, but going to be shut down by Slicks. Slicks just shutting down all the streaks for the Saints right now. Yeah, these kills going back and forth, pretty much dead even across the board here. Bethany College trying to fight their way back onto this hard point. Going to be all on Priestley to try to hold it. He has done such a good job as kind of that one-man band holding down the hard point using that movement we have seen him use so so often to such good effectiveness bethany is going to get the rest of this scrap time we're going to have pretty much a dead even game going into this next rotation slicks is going to be the first one there relaxed and priestly though they're going to find a couple of those picks they're going to find this hard point nice and early now though are they going to be able to hold this one and try to start to snowball this lead yeah, Verlaz toss that stun out. It is actually going to land onto somebody. Slicks with these Semtexes. That's his second Semtex kill of the game. But as these hard points okay. keep rotating, Saints playing the map much, much better than the starting of this game. Not going to allow so many free points to be given up to Bethany College. Bethany College, still 25 seconds left on this one. You can definitely still make a push, but if you keep getting shut down in these tight corners, these close quarters, now you're able to grab control of that one, possibly even break that 100 mark, but Saints most likely going to look to rotate towards that next one after Blaz gets cleared out. 
Yeah, they gave that one a nice contest. They tried to see if they could maybe take away those last 15, 20 points. The kills didn't really go in their favor to, you know, open that space up. Rasm Priestley trying to open up that space. Now, Hardpoint going to rotate. Saints should have the numbers advantage, but Los on that flank trying to find those kills. Blast trades him out. Both of these teams now sitting in that neutral zone trying to see if they can find that first pick or two before committing the Saints. They're going to be the first ones to jump over onto that Hardpoint. Priestley, I mean, we talked about how he was on the Hardpoint the whole time. A minute 30 and counting. He's going to fall to the nade, and Bethany He's going to find a whole lot of kills. Bendy going to get that one back. He's going to find a second one as well. So he's going to slow that push of Bethany and at least keep the hard point neutral. Yeah, he knows those spawns have flipped as well, waiting for somebody on that flank. Recheck is the window, but he is now going to find himself with a fight. LOS to be the winner of that, and now they got to push Priestley, but Priestley has been a demon defending oh. these hard points. He's good for three. Once again, Slicks with the shutdown, but not able to grab the hard point just yet. 142, a 39 point lead for the Saints as Bethany College is able to grab presumably this last five yeah. seconds here. Yeah, and if you're St. Clair, Bethany College getting three picks and only ending up, ending up with 10 points after that little scuffle, Pretty you're going to take that one all day. Yeah, Priestley finding those three kills. That keeps the Saints lead at that, you know, kind of keeps it at an arm's reach. It gives them the availability to go to that backside spawn, get that early rotation. We're going to see Slicks, though. He has been so deadly in this game so far. He's going to try to get going on the side here, seeing if he can find anything. Deimos is going to find the kill onto Priestley. Bendy and Slicks going to trade one out a piece. The Saints still have control of this hard point. Bendy, he has been so good as well, finding those double kills at just the right time. Bendy and Priestley, they're going to be good for all four there. Priestley trying to find just one more to add to that collection. Bendy still holding things down. Relaz now there to help out. And all the while, the Saints have been tick, tick, ticking away. They are almost up to this 180 score line. And the way the spawns are, they should be able to get this last 16. Yeah, should be able to crack 200 or get close to it. If not that, maybe 198 Oof. about to finish off this hard point. No contestion except for Slicks to be coming up from behind. Actually, two players spawning near this hard point. They might be able to clear out Blaz there at the end. He is going to fall to Slicks, and now the rotations start to come through. Relaz, good for one from the window. Rotate back out. Find okay. LOS. That's a team kill, and you crack 200, getting super close to finishing off this game. What started as a huge lead, around 40 to 60 points for oh, Bethany Blaz. College, has been flipped on its head from Blaz, from Priestley, from oh. Bendy. Two players cracking 20 kills now. Relaz about to follow up a minute 27 close to two minutes of objective time for Priestley just playing the macro oh. game here on the map and finding kills all the while Priestley for two Slicks trades two back gotta grab that hard point but Relaz right there for the trades and two for two for two is the story of this game right now yeah what are these multi kills look at Priestley 26 and 14 two minutes on the hard point Slicks himself has that 24 frag mark the Saints are at two 17 right now. This is going to be a very favorable spawn for Bethany, though. This should be that. Actually, yeah, the things actually rotate out of there. That one. So the Saints are going to have a pretty short run to this one. We should have a nice little 3v3 or 3v4 here. A TK over onto Slicks as well. The top drag going to be taken out of this fight, and that might be the advantage the Saints were looking for. Deimos and Blaz are going to be good for a one-for-one one there. Priestley, oh, he's going to swing and find the headshot on another level right now. The Saints are still taking away at this hard point. Of course, it's Priestley holding down the fort, and they are only 14 points away from winning this round up. Yeah, even with all the rotations you can make towards this hard point, you see Centum starting to go around a corner, but Priestley playing this spot he's never played up until now, keeping them on their toes. 247, not going to end it off just yet oh, as Bethany triple. College grabs some of those points, but all you got to do is have one player run on and grab three. <laughs> Centum not going to fall in the end as he doesn't want to actually yeah. team kill there, but it is going to end all the while. 250 to around, what was that? 140-ish, I believe. Yeah. 117, 117 on Bethany College there. But keep in mind, that was a match that started out with a 60-point lead for yeah. Bethany College. And Saints just start trading out 40-20, 40-20, 45-15, just getting the advantage of every hard point there. And, of course, you can't forget about Priestley and Bendy's 29 wow. and 26 kills on the board. Relaz as well. Relaz picking up two pieces yeah. almost every time he saw an enemy was a huge yeah. part of that. Those spawns take a while. I and mean, when half your team is on a 
five second timer. That's another five, 10 points to yeah. the Saints over there. Yeah, that's what we're saying. On the Hydro Dam, you can see just how wide the map is. So if you spawn far side of the map, it's gonna take 15, 20 seconds just to get to that point. And then you hope you win a team fight. Then you maybe get the last five, 10 seconds if everything goes right according to plan. The Saints do a great job. A little bit of a slow start, but I mean, Priestley, he was basically trading three for ones the entire game. That's gonna set you up for success. But that being said, we will toss things over to a very, very quick break. We will come back with map two just in a few. CCL, St. Clair College, and Bethany College. Saints took that map one hard point on, I believe it was the Hydro Dam. I think it was 250 to 117. It was a very, very even start of that game. We saw Slicks making some insane plays, but the Saints got the upper hand, and Priestley is going to find the upper hand first. He's going to swing the corner. Oh, he's got one behind the door. Low, spray on the other side. Priestley, uh, someone check his PC because he gets those pre fire shots through the door. He's going to send Los running. Take another little peek here, Priestley. He's not giving up on this target quite yet. Los is going down. You do not want to get into the 1v1 against yeah. Priestley, especially after last game. He just found now two kills up. I guess one thing we forgot to mention, too, our next uh, three maps 
in the pool today are going to be here on Albara. So we're going to see... Get used to it. We're going to see Search, we're going to see Control, and we're going to see Hardpoint on this map. Presumably, if it comes to that fourth map, we're going to have to see because the Saints are on a rampage right now. 1-0. They're able to pick up that first round with nothing but kills. And now, moving towards 3K. that second, I mean... Priestley, you know you're going to see him in the highlights at some point. Yeah. I mean, listen, yeah, it was only a matter of time whether it was for the... 3-0. Uh, the the check-in PC moment, yeah, ends up getting three of those four frags. I mean, for the Saints, it was slow, it was clean, it was methodical, you got the job done, and now you're going to find yourself over, I believe they're going to be on the defense now from... No, off yeah, defense, it would be Bethany over on that offense, seeing what they can cook up here. And I mean, yeah, get, they got to get used to this map because they're going to be here for at least one more setting after. Bendy, got to take that early nade damage off the truck. The stuns as well, Bendy. Can't make that jump. Yeah, can't the make the jump. Stunned up, the trophy's going to go. And it was all a ruse. Blast takes out Centum. And that's going to be an early numbers advantage for the Saints. Relaz traded back by Demos over towards that other side of the map. It's a long range shot from him. Bendy switched back to that AR this round. LOS, though, the trades are back and forth, and now we're down to a 2v2. LOS, can you make it out of there alive? He tries oh, to make that rotation. He actually finds the drop as well. 2v2, you got to watch that one player holding window, though. Slicks from behind. He's good for two. The movement's crazy on him, and. He is hyper X like his skin wow. side. It's late, huh? It, yeah. it, it is very, very late, but Slicks, as we said last game, he made so many good plays in the first start, first into that hard point. Now he's going to try to pick up the weight here in this search and destroy. Get it even things up for Bethany there. Now we're going to switch sides once again and see what the Saints have cooking up. Their offense, usually pretty entertaining to watch because they like to mix it up. Actually, he's going to still, yeah, still on defense here. Listen. Call of Duty, it's late. My brain is completely melted at this point. Saints trying to get back. Take this round now low, so we're going to see those early grenades go out. See if Bendy gets tagged down to 5 HP again. I mean, we've seen the early kills come through earlier tonight, especially from a lot of those Semtexes from Slicks has been good. Bendy for two work. in the blink of an eye, and now it's LOS and Slicks to try and make this round happen. See if you can find the lead in this game. But you're down two players. You're on that attack as well. Look Saints get to pincered. Saints get to play this like it's Rainbow Six and just hold angles and hold angles. Slicks though, so good Ooh. with that SMG in hand. He's Ooh. just been popping off all game three one for Slicks, matched by Priestley and Bendy on that other side. But now. You've taken out one player, you've got 40 seconds to work with, and you've got some rotations to come through. Yeah, the Saints do have that extra man, which is definitely going to help out on me. They have this A site locked down right now, basically just holding that crossfire. The only thing, Slicks trying to sneak his way onto that back line. He can maybe, if he can maybe take out Relaz, there's a chance, but Relaz does win the 1v1. All on to Los. Los will fall, and the Saints will pick up their second round. That's number two. Now, we have to see if they can find this first attacking round to come through. It's been slow gameplay yeah. from both of these teams, actually. Except for that first round, to be fair. The first round yeah. was quick kills, quick kills, and it finished off in an instant, partially from a Priestly 3K. But now, moving in to round number four. We've got three, one, three, two. No streaks really on the map just yet. Saints onto this attack. Blaz looking to make the push towards this A site. It's LOS here in the double doors. He's got a trophy system set up for himself as well. He's good for this hold as long as he doesn't get too, too cocky or get flanked as well. Keep in mind, there's still a whole lot more map to be around, oh. but LOS not able to finish off that headshot. Has to rotate back out. That might kill Bendy, though. There's the Semtex to come through. First blood, LOS, and now Slicks here on the rotation. Blast shuts him down. That's a key player shut down from Bethany College, but you still have that player advantage. Blast and Relaz, 2v3. Let's see what they can cook up. Yeah, now going to be all on to the one, all on the Blast here. He's got us on the pop shots. Los is going to find the kill. That defuse should come through momentarily. And Bethany College going to shut down that offense. They're going to stay, going to keep three alive on the board there. They're going to even things up at twos. Two and two, finishing off this one. I mean, back and forth from both of these teams. We've yet to see a round that's truly a stomp to come through, or a, a round where one team just overly dominates yeah. the other. 
The trades back and forth have been solid. The grenades have been such a key yeah. part of these search rounds, whereas sometimes we'll have rounds where it feels like a grenade isn't even thrown, whereas look at all of these to be tossed off a spawn. That's Sometimes you want the frag instead of the Semtex for those hey. early ones or those bounces. I was right? going to say, the way they back you yeah, off a wall, off a window, off the backside of a truck, all of a sudden, grenade in your last. Like, that scene of Captain America, you know, <laughs> got to dive on the grenade there right now, though. You said we say we had that breakneck pace for one of these rounds, but once again, slowing to a snail's pace. Bethany, they're going to slowly walk up toward A. Should be able to find the plant blast. This is going to be a triple test. Oh, he sees the feet. Does get the pre-fire. Oh, Slick still ends up baiting Blaz. Los works beautifully on the backside there. Going to get that numbers advantage. They're going to find the plant too. Numbers advantage. Scratch that. Priestley taking out Slicks. 3v3. 35 seconds to play the post plant. Priestley. Speedy. But still... Staying pretty calm, checking all those angles. He is going to find the kill over to LOS. Another one comes through for Relaz. He is traded out by Centum now. Bendy Got and up. Priestley have made their way here. The defuse is going to be hopped, and Centum, you got to start moving. Aww. It's a 1v2. Can't find the kill. The defuse is going to be good from Priestley, and that's another defending round under the belt of the Saints, but still only one round up. We've been seeing rounds traded back and forth and back and forth. Gonna have to see if Bethany College can keep that trend going, not let the lead get too far out of their hands. Yeah, defense seems to be the uh, flavor of the map, at least. I mean, the Saints got the bomb down, the post plant comes through. Same thing happens yet again. Now we're gonna have to see that side swap once again. Saints have that 3-2 lead. You got Priestley sitting at five and two once again, trying to you know carry that top break. But I was gonna say carry the weight, but all four of these members have had a multi kill, I think, in this series. So there is no carrying happening. They're just trying to play that good, consistent round of search. Priestley, we know how he, we know how he likes to play. He wants to get in there. He wants to start to skirmish with these members. Look how much space he takes so early on, Slicks. waiting for the swing. Slicks and him are gonna match up there. Slicks finds a jump swing. Priestley is good for the kill. Now you got Deimos back. On the sniper rifle, the Saints are gonna find this A plant that it's gonna be all on all. Oh, Priestley takes out Centum. That is a beautiful job, and now only two members left of Bethany. Saints Ooh. really got their act together here Peek on attack, but one kill comes through, two kills come through. Caster curse them, my bad Saints, but now we're in a 2v2 and see if these defending Ooh, teams can reign true and keep finding. These kills, both players can pretty well just play off site, but oh. try to peek back into this sniper. You're in for a rude awakening, Bendy. Not if you're able Blast. to hit those shots. Did you see the aim punch on the sniper? That would have been a headshot for sure, but all the way up to the sky is his barrel. Blast finishes it off with a double kill as Bendy takes the heat from both of those players. Look, a guy doesn't miss a single bullet, basically. Perfect spray transfer right to left. Gets a little bit of help from Bendy there at the end. But I say that was the one tough thing. They were playing long for the anti for the post plant. That sniper rifle was kind of the perfect counter to that long play. Mm -hmm. But like you said, that punch right at the end, that scope goes a little bit haywire. That recoil, you're going to miss that one shot. If you miss a shot with the sniper rifle and you're in the open, you can pretty much call that one good night, Irene. And now the Saints are up to this four. 4-2 lead in Bethany College, stacking maybe toward this B side of the map to get things off. Man, sometimes you forget about the aim punch and caught. It's pretty aggressive yeah. in this game compared to a lot Watch of other... Watch the ARs, you can shooters. really see it sometimes, yeah, too. Yeah, and, and I mean, the sniper, because you're so zoomed in, it just accentuates yeah. it even more. Also, right, it's, it's a low-mobility weapon to begin with, so you're not expecting, unless you're at some crazy sense, you're not expecting for all those crazy flicks and trick shots. Oh, Bendy. snake in the grass! You gotta check your corner, Slicks. There's Bendy. He's able to pick up an AR. He's got the AR, the sniper in hand, but the round is all but done. 5 2 Saints find match point here. Bethany College needs to rally back, but it seems like the Saints <laughs> kind of figured out a little bit of uh, Bethany's main plans here on Fortress, especially on these SD rounds. Yeah, Bethany College now. Your back is against the wall. You don't want to find yourself staring down the barrel of that 2-0. You're going to have to find some way to get back in this game. Low sitting at that 5-5. Five and five. Priestley, 9-3. and three. The rest of these members all sitting even or positive. Just a solid, consistent effort. A looks like it's going to be that flavor this time. Slick's going to be there for that early contest, possibly. Stuns are going to go through. That early grenade information exchange. He's going to get tagged down. He's going to cook up a grenade on the backside of this wall here. Maybe he's trying to catch him off guard. Relax. Getting stunned up. Slicks is going to hit the prone. Relaz finds the shot and he finds the kill. Little that is a jump. big member down. That little jump, the micro movements can make all the difference in these fights. Blaz is about to get caught out though. It looks like Los. Deimos, there he is on the crossfire. Make it a pair. Relaz goes down too. Priestley and Bendy. 
2v3. We saw this in rounds prior. Bendy, AR in hand. Priestley presumably going to have that. Vaznev doesn't spot one out on the right, though. Sent him. Great angle to be able to find him. Now, Priestley, 1v3. Not the craziest play we've ever seen Priestley made, but a tough one when you've got these players on defense with a setup like this. Yeah, I mean, look where the bomb is. You even have that one lurking over toward B. You have sent him just making sure, knowing that Priestley might try to get a little bit crafty. But now I think he's going to realize as that time ticks down, I think they are going to have a little bit of info where that bomb is. He's going to try to hold that crossfire. Priestley going to open the doors there. Sent him going to find the pop shots. He does not want to take this fight. He mostly wants to play time. As long as he's able to distract Priestley, he will not be able to get to that bomb. But if Priestley can make a miracle happen in the next nine seconds, it's Six all going to be on most. If he peeks, though, he's going to get tagged down, but he finds the kill. Bethany finds the round, and it is now 5-3. Expected outcome for Bethany there after you find all those kills. Just play it slow, play that defense, and look at the pinch here. Demos, the one to finish off that kill. LOS not even going to fall to Priestley in the end. And, of course, you had... The, uh, the third player there, who Priestley did find earlier in that round, sent him there, but he was playing so far away where if Priestley had went for that A push initially, even if he found the duo, yeah. might have had time to plant, yeah, but sent him. If the time, if it came down to time, you have that player all the way yeah. over on B site who's just going to live out the round. Bendy with the first blood here in round nine. Yeah, and Bethany played the last round smart. They set up one on B. You had two cross firing on A. They mm -hmm. knew where the bomb was, so they were just playing that slow pace. Say, Priestley's probably going to get one in that 1v3, but ultimately, Cod, the timer is the one thing. There's like, yeah. basically no time in search. You consider that five second plant. You don't really have that much time to cook it. There's 25 seconds left, and you got to get across the map. That's going to be a problem. Sent him. He's getting cut down on the stairs there, and now it is a 4v2. And if you're Bethany, what do you try to do here? You got to try to get one of these weird off angles. Try to make sure you don't get traded out. One for two though saints take that one they take search and destroy map two they will put themselves over on match point both Priestley and relaz pop the deddy in that last round they find the final kills relaz with the final final kill of the round a nice little flank on to slicks there and that's the power of dead silent yeah. slicks <laughs> none the wiser on that rotation you check out the scoreboard here Priestley 11 and 4 this guy has just been going off tonight, and that's about all I can say. LOS, the one to actually do almost all of the damage well, for the team. Oh, actually, I guess they leave the lobby. Yeah, six yeah, kills and zero damage. It, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, Fair like, enough. He stared him to death yeah. and got six assists, but yeah. The Saints, they play an excellent map too there. Bethany puts up a decent fight toward that second half, but I think the Saints did end up getting, I think, three flawless rounds out of that six. Yeah. They got at least two, so they found a way to get that momentum. Again, you talk about Priestley, all these other members. They just find so many ways to get it done time and time again. But with that being said, we will throw it to potentially our last break of the night. Map three coming over the break. Saints leading 2 nothing.
time for map three saints on this map point after a pretty close s and d to come through all things considered but now immediately bendy finds the first blood blaz is on to the first point and He's locked down in this truck, but Slicks, the player we've been talking about all night from Bethany College, he finds two to start it off. Bendy, are you able to find this one? Slicks picks oh. the wrong angle to look at. Bendy for two, and that should be a tick down at A, to say the least. They the Saints cleared off of that. Yeah, they cleared off of A to try to go support in that middle area. I think they didn't end up finding all those kills. And now Bethany, they're going to retake that space. They're going to send some members over to A. They ended up clearing out the Gallows. The Saints trying to find a couple of these picks. Maybe going to go back to A now. Now they have the corner cleared out. They're going to have at least 15, 20 seconds before those spawns can really take effect. It's all going to be on if they can hold it. At least make one. sure you get one. You got one. Second tick, not going to be guaranteed, but the way it's looking right now, going to be good. Bendy finds a money flank as well. The Saints, all than likely, they're going to lock down this A really, really quickly, and they're going to have a lot of time and a lives advantage for B. Yeah, they have to try and clear out Bendy here. He's good for two in the end, but that should be A. All cleared. Slicks, can you make that contestion? It does come through. He finds the kill as well. Third tick, not going to be grabbed just yet, but there's a point secured. Now, two minutes left in the Saints arsenal here with time to play with. But now, Lockdown B is the name of the game for Bethany College here. Let's see what they can do. Priestley going to fall to LOS as he gets rushed by both Bendy and Blaz there. Yeah, Bethany's playing Lockdown. The Saints are playing TDM, 18 to 12 in the lives department. You can basically force them into the back of the gallows. I mean, if Bethany wants to defend B, they have to play in this corner of the map. If they play in the corner of the map, they are basically going to be fish in a barrel for these Saints. And even a one for one at this point is going to do all you need. But why not make it a three for one for Priestley? Bendy finishes out the rest of the team there. That's going to be a second tick on B. Only six lives left to Bethany. It is all but over at this point. This first round going definitively over to St. Clair. Listen, the Saints already lost control fortress today. They're not here yeah. to have it happen again. Now you get to play on that defense and we saw the spawn traps come through on this map before. You get an early team wipe to come through That's here, basically. and you can lock down both of those double doors that lead into both A and yeah. B. It's so hard to make it out of that spawn over by the fountain there, right where Bethany College is about to spawn up. Yeah, once you kind of lock down that middle area and you find even one pick, then you have the numbers advantage. You can kind of rotate around that middle section, around those doors. And then Bethany College, you're basically running into a wood chipper over and over. At that point, Relaz takes out Slicks for first blood. He finds two. Los will finally tag him down, but Bendy's going to find the third. Blaz has a good inkling. Sentum's in the corner. He's going to make a read, find the kill. And the Saints have already secured four lives. Make it five. And look at the spawn trap set up now. You've got Priestley, you've got yeah. Blaz holding down yeah. that A side. You've yeah. got Bendy holding down that entire left side of the map. And look at the kills just continue to come through. Anyone who pushes through here is going to have a rude awakening when they look up and see Priestley proned on top of this building. He moves just out of the way. Stun grenade going to come through. Not good for Centum. Centum going to have to watch high. Relazed. Spotted oh, out in the corner, but Priestley there. Good for the kill. Slicks and Demos fall. Slicks actually took out Demos with his own Semtex there. Slicks, so good with the Semtex, you're killing your own teammates. Listen, I think we've seen legitimately like eight or nine team kills across both series of call today. It feels yeah. like a lot more TKs than we usually see. I mean, in this crazy like a grenade meta, I guess I'll call for MW2. Definitely something you see a little more often. Relaz, oh my goodness. All he needs is a couple pixels and a couple bullets, and he's going to find that kill. Blaz going to swing. Oh, would have had the second one. Sent him with a great flank. But, I mean, look at the scoreboard. 26 to 11. <laughs> I just scratched That's myself the there. Five seconds. Not even a sniff of a tick. Not even, even, not even a crumb. Not a morsel. Even if they were to find, like, even if they were to come through and find that tick, it does not matter. You have so little time to work with. And you have to find one of those points to begin with, with 10 lives left. That's not happening, realistically. That's how questionable <laughs> some of the spawns here no, are on perfect. this map. Yeah, perfect spawns. We love Activision around here. But nonetheless, I mean, 2-0... St. Clair looking to make this 3-0. They were able to have, granted, their attacking round nowhere near as dominant as that yeah. defensive round. That's just kind of how the map shakes out. But the fact that Saints were able to be even 
fairly proactive on that attack first round gives me hope for this. Blaz gets in there. Demos finds two in the close range. He's able to get this regen. One HP on Demos on the dot there. Unfortunate for the Saints to not be able to make that trade, especially with such little health left. But Saints, progress at B just a little bit. Not going to be actually cleared out just yet. If Priestley can, or if maybe any of these Saints can kind of make that rotation to B, you can kind of continue where you left off if Bethany's not going to clear it out. But Priestley has to find something here. He's good for one pick. LOS on a nice trade. Priestley spots him okay. out. Good for two. Just completely disregards Slicks. Let's head for B. But you got to check your left. Two players there. LOS on the rotate as well. And... This is going to be tough. You're seeing how hard these attacking rounds here oh, are on that's fortunate. Fortress. But Relaz with two, going to make it a heck of a lot easier to get over here. But all it takes is one kill. Yeah, the Saints going to have to try to go two or three for one here. They're going to be down seven lives already. Priestley going to get stunned up there. Backside of Gallows here. Los going to find the kill on the Bendy. Priestley about to get pincered here by Deimos and another member. He's going to swing, trying to find one. He is going to find Deimos. Her last health clears one out. All four members somehow go down. The Gallows are cleared. 30 seconds left. Bethany College, you had a pretty nice lives advantage, but now these ticks are going the other way. They're going to find a couple kills back though. Relast trying to find the angle on the Sentum here. Sentum finds one. He gets traded. Slicks though trades out Relast and the Saints down six lives still. Ticks not going to be fully completed yet and this time we're starting to get a little bit low yeah they tried to go for that two-pronged attack tried to grab the tick at a while finishing off b but it's not going to work out as demos was able to clear the two players on a and now you've only got 15 seconds to work with to try and grab this b point you need one tick that's all you're looking for you're just looking for that timer boost here in this round blaz has to yeah, start off the cap b? somewhere they might actually... I think they're going to get this tick. I don't think that Sentum is going to get there Demos in time. Has to run. Yeah, Deimos and Sentum are both going to have to get on their get on the extra gear here. But that is going to be that tick over. That's going to be a time bonus. The Saints only have eight lives remaining, though. They're going to have to play very, very smart. And they're going to have to cut through a very, very tough defense on this backside point. Relaz tossing the nade in there. It's going to be a trophy system. That's good nice for that grenade. one. Relaz don't want to get hit by that Semtex, but not going to take any damage. Oh. Relaz. In the end, can you find his feet is the question. Relaz and LOS have been in the same angle war for about 10 seconds there. It's going to be Relaz almost come off with the win. Now, you're locked down on A. You're in that truck. The kills are coming through and the respawns have to come through for Bethany College. But the trades no more. are not coming back where you need them to. 5-4, to 5-3. to three. No more respawns for the side of Bethany College. Saints got one more to work with. Two players left. LOS spotted out. That is gonna be it. 3-0. A swift match to finish off the night here for Call of Duty. Saints Varsity here. I mean, they've been playing for a while. They're, yeah. <laughs> they're two series in now. They want to finish this off. And the thing is, too, is they're warmed up. Yeah, I was going to say, Bethany College, the one, it's kind of a good thing and a bad thing. They did play a CCL match before this one, so they had some warm-up time as well. Look at Bendy, 26 and 10, and in the first round of control, Bendy equally fragged the entire Bethany team 20 to 20, and then the latter half of that game, we talked about, say, Bethany, they played a CCL game before. I think it went to, like, game five, almost, yeah, they were, we, we were, like, waiting around for them to get ready to start, so maybe it's one of those things of, like, they're either burnt out or just playing that game five takes a lot out of you. You kind of follow That's flat, start true. off the series, you go down one, two, nothing, and all of a sudden, you find yourself in a hole on control, and all of a sudden the Saints take over and win the series. Yeah, honestly, you you saw some very, very strong players, yeah. too. Slick specifically. Early I on, mean, it was a lot closer. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. That, that Hydroelectric game, granted, not a lot of teams play Hydroelectric yeah. on that hard point. We haven't seen it too, too much. Yes, it's a map that's available, but it's one that I think kind of gets forgotten in the grand yeah. scheme of things. But they were definitely giving that resistance where it was due. But Saints, once they get in their groove, it's hard to shut them down. Yeah. We saw a pretty dominant hard point game in the end. I mean, 250 to 117, I think, yeah. was the score and then, what, 6-4 or 6-3 yeah, six, six, on yeah. that search and a 3-0 to finish off Control Saints. As we said, have a, a bit of experience on that Control Fortress now and you saw how those spawn traps came through. I mean, 
brutal, yeah. honestly, to be on the receiving end of it, regardless of who you are. Yeah, successful day overall. Overwatch 2 takes that 3-0. COD takes it 3-1 against Western and CXP. Finish things off with a very, very swift 3-0 in the CCL, but it is very, 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 very late. The players and a lot of us here, we are ready. Not going to keep you guys around much longer. Shout out to Alex, Ryan, and Dan holding down the back line here. Like oh, we said, yeah. it has been a very, very long day. Sure, you can tell me and Josh's voices are a little bit shot from all these COD games, but we appreciate everybody. so hyped. I, of course, yeah. Thank everybody so, so much for tuning in. Go have the good rest of your eating and take care.